What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're we'll talking about the two new units, Galma and Audrey. Um, so there'll be a weird bug where my OPS does not detect me and when we're reviewing the banner it's not going to show my face unfortunately. It's just, I don't know how to, it's just, it's not working. So I don't know how to do it but it's just, it is what it is. So let's just get into the actual bit here. So, we're gonna get into this unit. I'm not gonna call her bad. Instead, I'm gonna call her confusing because she's confusing. Um, we'll get into that, the reasons why right now. Um, that that she has dual wielding, but she also has TDH. But also, I guys like Saul, yeah, equipped with a heavy shield and stuff. Like, I don't get it, guys. I don't get it. I'm not calling her bad. Like, I'm not. I'm not going to call units bad right away. It just, it's just really confusing to me. Um, Delby is mediocre at best, unless it's decent for like finishing, maybe. But even then, I don't know. I feel like this is just uh, not very, not very interesting to me. Personally, I feel like uh, this unit is just. It's kind of all over the place. Doesn't know what's what's going on. Um, very decent DPS, of course, but you can tell that this is not a summon fish unit already by looking at it. Um, and before you look at that physical damage or the critical hit, uh, unit already did that. Unit's unit's done that already, and it's not really that strong, unfortunately, because I think it only does a critical hit once, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not that strong. Ugh. She unlocks some, some moves. And they're pretty strong, but I mean, you can definitely tell that this is some. This is not a some fish unit because of a lot of things that are lacking. Things that they just slapped in here, you know, just to call it something. She does get triple cast. At least she has that, and you can use all of the moves that she has. Their triple cast and dual cast. I mean, it's just it's just it looks so obvious that this is a, not a summon fast unit because just there's just so many things that are lacking in this kit, guys. That normal DPS usually has, so it's a, it is a DPS, but like it's I don't know like how you build this unit because there's so many weird things about it, like the shield buff and you know being able to have 50% true dual wield or 100% even, but, but no six times cap. So the dual wielding part is completely nullified because there's no six times cap. So how would you want to, to do that? I, I don't understand. So she has TDH but then she loses the shield benefit if she doesn't have a shield. It's, it's just like... I mean you're not, probably not going to use a shield anyways I guess because it's not that big of a deal but it's just like so weird. I don't understand what their thought process is here, giving her 100% true dual wield, but not giving her 6 times cap, so there's absolutely no point in building her true dual wield at all. There's no benefit to it other than more stats. <laughs> but for attack purposes and damage purposes, TDH is obviously the way to go, so... TMR is pretty awful. Um, the King's Armor from the f of one of the events is way better than this, and it was free <laughs> in terms of elemental resistance, which is what we're really looking at, not looking at the stats. And the STMR is very average at best. You can definitely tell this is a not a summon fetch unit because this STMR is pretty fucking bad. I didn't mean to swear there, just uh. I don't know. I, I was hoping this unit would be a lot better than what she actually is, and... Well, as expected, she's just the troll unit, so... How would you fit this into a team? To just be a DPS, really? I, I just don't know... Like... Even, even like, other non summon fish units are better than this. Seriously, like... I don't know, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but... I mean, I don't. I just don't know why you would use her over someone else. Um, 
And if you're a new player and you just pulled in the spanner and you pulled her, I mean, she's gonna be fine, I guess. She can chain with uh, other AT chainers, at least. She'll be one turn without triple cast, but that's okay. At least I think so. Maybe she won't. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> on to the main attraction. What most people are looking forward to, I believe. TMR is pretty good. I like that TMR. 30% HP and 30% HP and Spirit are very good together. The STMR is really not needed for her. Honestly, I feel like it's just not that good. <laughs> sure, it has high spirit um, and a lot of good things to it, but I don't think it's necessary to chase for it. Or use STMR and Rugulon. Definitely not. Definitely not, guys. <laughs> so, you know, equip maces is okay. But not really that great. Uh, we don't have Lilith, Lilith Mace on the uh, JP side, so it's not that interesting, but it's, it's decent. <laughs> so she has some pretty niche, interesting things. Um, some some good stuff here, but then there's going to be something that's really interesting, like, you know, Cure Zombie. One ally is not pretty nice. She has some decent things about her. Um, some cooldowns that give mitigation. Every three turns she gets basically 45% mitigation, which is pretty good. I honestly wish that they were different mitigations at least to you know, go with Cecil maybe, but it is what it is guys on that. So... Oh, they changed this. But this is not even that good. This cooldown here is worse than Serena's, it looks like. In fact, I'm gonna look this up really quickly. Separately. Let's look at Serena. And let's look at her debuff. It just, yeah, hers is also five turns, but it removes all buffs from one enemy. This just removes the attack and magic. This removes, yeah, this just removes attack and magic buffs from the, from the enemy. That's worse. This is a one, someone's fast and she has a worse ability than someone older than her. Bruh, really? I gotta say, that's pretty disappointing, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's pretty bad, guys. So... There's that, I mean, she has some water and wind resistances and things of that nature, but they already said that she's going to be a, a water and wind support. Um, the, the bottom cooldown is fine. Pretty good, but it's not a complete reset like Serena had. Serena's is power, most powerful cooldown is cure all stats amongst all allies, revive all allies, then 100% HP heal, cure all breaks, stop and charm, and auto revive to all allies. So that's like a full reset, which is still pretty good. And she doesn't have anything like that. So already, I think I'm thinking that Serena is gonna be a little bit better, a little bit better. She has the cure zombie, which is gonna hold hold her over all the other healers, really. Um, she has like some ways like. Like with Zahn, can steal some things for herself. Like steal some debuffs. But the one thing that she does not have is white magic. She has no white magic, guys. At all. Uh, so, yeah. She has no ways of, you know, having any kind of white magic. Um, but Serena didn't either, I don't think. No, she did, Serena doesn't either, so that's a thing. Serena did not have any. I'm not going to be comparing uh, her to anyone else. So I think Serena is the best healer despite what people are saying on Reddit, saying that Lena is still the best healer. She is definitely not. After playtesting Serena for so long, I think Serena is far better than L Lena. Anyways, <laughs> uh, her Lena first is okay, but it's not nearly as good as um, Serena's. 
Serena says, um, auto revive 100% plus some HP and MP heal over three turns. So this just this just is just okay, but it doesn't really do much of anything. It's it's decently expensive too. Serena's is only 27. Crystal's hers is 34. So that's pretty expensive. You're not gonna be able to get up all that often unless you have some look crystal right look to look at right now. He actually does. Just 100% it'll be fill rate buff. And she gets 3 per turn. 3 per turn, that's pretty good. So she might be able to get that up then. And it looks like she has a counter of Look Burst Cage, Fill Rate, and Fill to all allies 4 as she counters. And it's a 60% chance. So it's definitely gonna happen. It only happens once though, unlike uh, Cecil, I guess. Or Cecil could counter many times. I suppose. Uh, she has a lot of barriers and things, that's for sure. She's the barrier queen. Unlike Serena, Serena doesn't have any ways of doing barriers. Barriers are important, but I feel like this is the biggest uh, disappointment. Uh, only being able to remove boost to attack magic is just really disappointing. And she has no way to dispel. She has absolutely no ways of dispelling otherwise, just like Serena has difficulty with that situation as well. So of course, again, you're going to have to find someone else who can dispel. Unless you want to equip dispel to her, I suppose. But yeah, she has no way of dispelling. I don't know what's with their newest thing where they don't want to give healers dispel, but... Oh well. So, is she better than Serena? I'm not really convinced. I looked at her this morning, when I, before I woke up. Or, that doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I woke up in the middle of the night to look at the kit, and I went back to sleep. That's basically my first look. And I was not that impressed. I was like, eh, it's okay. And she's okay, but not that great. <laughs> Plus, I don't know. Like, Serena just seems so much better, in my opinion. Serena just seems really great. She has so many things about her on the- I'm not talking about the global side of Serena, by the way. When certain people come to my videos, they think, oh, Serena's bad. Because they're only playing the global side, and they're just taking a peek at the JB side. Remember, Ser Serena got nerfed on the global side quite a bit. On the JB side, she's very amazing. She's incredible, so... All of her numbers are far different than the global sides. Just keep that in mind, guys. For global only players, keep that in mind. As Serena is far better on the JP side. So, with that in mind, guys, I feel like she's good, but not great. There's some things that are just not really here that you would like to see. Um. She doesn't like this one thing. What's this? Okay, she unlocks something else? Or is it just... It's just the, on the same thing again. Wait, no it's not. Okay, it's a very high... Oh, it's just... What? It's just, uh... DOT. It's just DOT, that's why it's not showing any, sh any one hit, one hits or anything like that, it's just DOT. Okay. I mean, cool, I guess, she has some DOT. 54 times mod with spirit scaling for 3 turns. I mean, I'm sure that'll be decent damage. I guess she can do it in off turns. Once you uh, upkeep everything, you might be able to actually do that. Um. So, yeah, I don't know if she's that good. She's not great, but she's pretty good. But I don't think so, I don't think that she ranks higher than Serena. And that's disappointing because she's a summon fetch unit. Or FFP. You think, you think that uh, this unit would be far outclassing her at this point. But nope. I, st I think I still prefer Serena's kid overall. And overall, when you look at everything. When you look at them side by side, I feel like Serena just... 
has the better kit. But the Cure Zombie thing is what's going to bother me. I might have to get, might have to try just very lightly for her, just because of the zombie part. But I know there's going to be a trial in the future where you're going to have to use something to get rid of zombie. So that's the clincher. They put that in there literally because I know they're going to make that a, like a trial mechanic. So now I have to try for it. So expect a small pull video. Uh. Expect a very small pull video in, in, in regards to that, guys. Hope you guys will tune in for that. And I think that's about it, guys. I, I've covered every. Oh, never mind. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. We have to have to go over the banner, guys. Okay. Here we are with the banner. There's nothing else here. Just this. So, you do 5k like usual. This is not something you can click on. I'm clicking, you can hear it. Nothing's here. This is just an image. So basically, you do 5k and hope for something, or throw a ticket and hope for something. And if you do 5k, you go over here like always. Maybe there's some people that are new to the game or something like that. And there's both of their prisms. Uh, I would highly recommend not doing that much lapis for, for just one of them. Uh, and these ones are just 50-50, I believe. Yeah, it's 50-50 to get either or. You can't even choose. Nice. I love when I can't choose, guys. So, nothing really interesting here, but it's just, you know, the usual standard thing nowadays where they just do 5k pulls and hope that you get one of them. No step up. And there has not been a step up in this game for a long time. So, that's nice. Uh, and here's the LB. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn sound on. I'm sorry about that. But, I'm not really missing much of anything. So that's the lump burst. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, just wish she was a little better. But I will be pulling for her in, in some capacity. Just not in a huge capacity like I would do, normally do. Alright, this concludes the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me and my channel, there's a link down below in the comment section or the video description for a PayPal link if you like. Even the smallest contributions will help me, guys. So. Don't think that you have to do some huge contribution to help me. Even the smallest thing will help. So, I greatly appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.